make a wish so it's about setting an intention more than anything when there's chaos and conflict in our lives we need to notice that and then realize it's feedback telling us we need to make a new choice here so reaching higher think of a yes or no answer question now your answer is Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com and this is today's tarot for all signs for Thursday the 9th of May 2024. I hope you're doing well. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube. It's called Psychic Cafe. In there, I give one question readings amongst other things. I'd love to see you in there. Come along sometime. But you can book in for one of those one question readings at any time on my website BeHealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. I do all the readings that are purchased while I'm live right there in the live show but I also do all the rest of them that are purchased at other times right at the start of the next live show they send you the link to the replay so you don't need to be able to make it live in order to get one of those they are available to everybody so let's get some cards out and find out what is going on in the energies today slow coming out it'll be a slow day as a result sometimes the way that the cards come out is a message not just the cards themselves there we go we got something at last okay so what is it let's find out we've got make a wish make a wish this is about setting an intention more than anything uh, wishes aren't about you know putting God at our order into the universe it's kind of is a little bit about that but i'm getting more about setting an intention it gets you focused on something on making something happen for yourself it gets you seeing the path toward it more clearly when you set an intention and it gets you working with the universe too free you're free you're free to go for whatever it is that you want so know that you don't need to stay in patterns and you don't need to do what everyone else tells you to do too you might be communicating today perhaps in a new way perhaps differently than you did before you might be communicating what it is that you want as well also for private readings from my website behealing.com you can find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too and i get those out within 48 hours of your ordering them there are two ways in which to win one of those private readings with me every single month the first way is by being a subscriber to my channel clicking like on this video and then leaving a comment that'll get you one entry and do that as many times as you like on all my videos including my shorts second way is by checking out my pick a card reads if you purchase the deeper dives to them all the deeper dives extended readings that you purchase throughout the month no matter when um, a pick a card read came out will get you entered into that second prize draw so good luck with winning those now what have we got in the energies starting out with the five of wands the five of wands is about reaching higher it's about practicing something so your wish today could be setting your sights higher going taking something to the next level taking yourself to the next level it doesn't mean that you need to get yourself there instantly or even just like receive it it means that you get on track as i said set an intention and then you start seeing start working toward it what can i do toward this the nine of wands says you're coming to the end of a healing journey and you need to persist and keep on going from here the Hierophant suggests that you've got something long term, a change coming in for the long term. And I'm getting from the Hierophant because it can be about spiritual lessons too, that you've got yourself to this place of courage and strength now and are ready for that next step. Your evolution, ascension, the Ten of Wands, but there's some um, burdens to put down. Now, the Ten of Wands, when, when I was saying about that freedom card that came out there, same same you don't have to do what everyone else tells you to do and what society tells you to do if you do that stuff you're not going to have time space to do the things that are really important to you so some things you have to put down five of one so reach higher make a wish taking yourself higher and set that intention what is that card that i'm seeing in here it's about the five of voices that doesn't belong in here the five of voices so the five of voices is about chaos and conflict so when there's chaos and conflict in our lives we need to notice that and then realize it's feedback telling us we need to make a new choice here so reaching higher perhaps looking at 
what is the worst thing in your life? What leads to the most conflict within yourself in your life? And then reaching higher. Not not trying to fix that thing, but but setting an intention to reach higher beyond that, to do something else instead. Sometimes we can stay in the situations and try and fix them. And we, we're not seeing the guidance clearly, which says, go somewhere else. Go somewhere else, do something else, you know? For example, staying in a workplace and complaining that you're not getting the raise, you're not getting the promotion, that there aren't opportunities, instead of going, oh, I should just go and get a job somewhere else where there are, where I can take that step up and apply for a step up job and get it straight away. You know, it's something like that. So don't stay where you are trying to fix it. That chaos and conflict is saying reach higher, set a new intention. And it's self-loving, right? It's not self-loving to stay where you're at. It's self-loving to reach higher. So set a new intention today. Nine of Wands because you've been healing yourself and getting stronger and more courageous. Look at all these cards in the wrong place. Nine of Wands. Tell us why the Nine of Wands is here, please. Persevere, keep on going. The Hierophant, the Ace of Inspiration. I was connecting the Hierophant with that as well. So you're stronger. Keep on going. You got this. Something exciting is starting. It's going to be around for the long term and leading to your revolution too. And it, uh, involving other people as well. So three of emotions, better times, celebrations, um, other people, new tribe, that kind of thing. You've got people coming in. You've got people coming in and to bring joy into your life so there's joy behind that so things are getting better especially for those of you that have been on long healing journeys you know me too and sometimes we can think that that's all there is and there isn't there's joy there's reward along the way however you and i most of the people that are watching me were leaders in all of this we and as leaders we're putting different places around the planet we're not all put together to just have happy lives ourselves and just be happy together and you know the rest of the world can just go off and do its own thing we're here to make a change and as a result we're put in different places it's not about our happiness however it should be about your happiness you know do the things that bring you joy for sure but no it's there's not that many people that can give back uh, and that's okay it's not about you I mean, I say it's not about you. It's if someone can't love you, if someone can't give to you, that's about them and what they've been through. And you're strong enough and you can love and give. And hopefully you'll come across people that bring joy in your life, but perhaps not in the same way as you can bring joy in other people's lives because you're a leader, you know? And that can be hard. But next step, says the Hierophant, on your growth path and your ascension path, you're here to make a change. See, is a calling, is your calling, the awakening card, it's about your calling. Came here to do it, and I know it sucks, because sometimes it's like, I don't want to be the leader, I want to receive nice things. <laughs> I want to receive nice things too. But the universe has got your back, the universe will make sure that you're receiving good things. Just keep on following that calling. What's behind that is abundance, it will come to you. Okay, so there's a message here that you could be... Bringing people in that will bring you joy, perhaps not at the same level as you can give it out to other people. So something, perhaps it's not someone that can be everything for you as you can be everything for someone else. However, you're allowed to let that joy in and not be disappointed by people. Receive whatever they can give, you know. And this Ten of Wands, putting burdens down so that you can reach higher, making space. So not staying in that same place or not trying to fix that thing. Sometimes we have to end the healing journey ourselves and realize, oh, I'm trying to fix things that aren't even mine to fix anymore. I'm trying to, I'm trying to fix in me something that is about someone else's response to me and that's purely about them and it's not about me. Yeah, okay. Nine of voices and nine of inspiration is behind that. So anxiety about letting go because the healing path has been very important. So in other words, we've gone through life, right? And stuff has happened to us and we've got hurt and there's been that need to fix things within ourselves to to own own everything that's happened to us so we can fix our side in it right that is great however there comes a point when we re we've got to realize look 
I'm all right now and I'm giving myself these things and I can give love out to somebody else. But if they don't return it, that's about them. That's not about me. No longer going, ouch, that hurts. Um, so no longer giving in order to receive, no longer giving love to them. And then when they don't reciprocate it, go, ah. Giving without the need for validation from someone else. And if they can't give it back, go, mm, that, that, that's too bad for them kind of for me too but but you know it's too bad for them that they they haven't got themselves but i'm not going to let that stop me from being loving and giving and doing all of that kind of thing i'm not suggesting that we be doormats anymore and keep on giving and loving to people that are abusing us don't do that for sure but this is saying you can put some of the burdens down you don't need to stay where you are fixing things that aren't yours anymore there's ancient wisdom and integration behind that too you see, it's hard doing general readings because the advice for one person would be absolutely wrong advice for someone else. You know, if, I'm, if I say to one person, take ownership of your life and what it is that you're doing, you need to heal yourself and take ownership of that, you're doing this thing. That could be right for one person in one circumstance. In fact, for the same person in another circumstance, it might not be right. It's like, no, that's not you. That that particular thing isn't you anymore. Your part in it was clean. You're just letting this person into your life or you're taking it personally, what they're doing, their, their lack of ability to love uh, or their lack of ability to give, you know? Not taking it personally. I know um, in my business, I used, to, I used to take things very personally when I wasn't healed, for sure. And in my business, it, it showed in that too. And so, you know, if someone was considering getting a reading with me and then they didn't, I thought, well, they had the means to get the reading and, and they just, and it was, it's my fault and they decided not to because I don't deserve to receive. <laughs> Instead of going, well, it's just completely their decision based on what's going on for them and perhaps don't, not even having the money to do it at the moment, which is not anything about me, right? And so once I was just cool about whether people do or whether people don't, it's okay. It's not a reflection on me, you know. I, I really took the law of attraction teachings very seriously and made it all about me and then started feeling guilt, shame, burdens of all of that kind of thing, and it doesn't help. Well, what about our love lives today? We've got let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Yeah. So, like I said before, loving other people, not necessarily getting the love back from them. It depends on how far they are into their own personal journey of self-love, of whether they can love someone else cleanly. The other thing too is when we've been hurt, say we've been hurt because we haven't received very much and not been loved right, it tends to make us want to make sure that no one else has that experience and so we love too much. In other words, we project our wounding on someone else. We think they're similarly wounded and so that we need to counterbalance that by giving way more, right? But they might not be wounded in that way. They might not be. And so we tend to give too much, right? And then we tend to expect too much from other people too. So it's like if they don't like give me this massive amount of love to counterbalance my wounding, then I'm going to be disappointed because they're not giving me enough. And it's like, oh, you're not expecting like a, a reasonable amount of attention here. And it could be a way that you're susceptible to love bombing too. On day of recording this, it's my birthday. And this morning, I had a lot of memories, traumatic memories come back to me about birthdays past of you know not be, it not being made special and all of that and as a result of that with my children i made them birthday king or birthday queen i went over the top to make it all about them um overcompensating for my wounding right presuming that they'd have the same wound as me and so giving them everything on that day and they they decide you know what happens that day and what everyone else needs to do and all of that it was an over conversation it was oh it's too much and then thinking back since then it's like no one's ever done that for me you know um no one's over given to me and so i've been disappointed on my birthdays even when i've received just fine it's like but it wasn't extra special like i made it extra special yeah that's expecting too much expecting other people to be traumatized and then giving 
you know, expecting them to be overcompensating doesn't do us any any um, favors. That and as I said, we're talking about love life, which we are right now, even though I'm just kind of riffing on it, <laughs> channeling on it, um, it makes you susceptible to love bombing to narcissists, the ones that will give an extraordinary amount that isn't sensible because of their wounding right because of their wounding reflect on your priorities in your love life what's important to you in your love life reflect on it here's brenda cat to reflect on the cards to walk all over the cards and then to push buttons on the keyboard what else in our love lives What else in our love lives, Brenda? Cards are slow today, hey? So it might be about things that are kind of slow in coming in your life. Rather than it being a slow day. But self-love and friendship. Loving yourself and perhaps being focused more on friendship than on actually bringing a lover in. I mean, if you are a leader, probably not going to be around someone who is a leader too similarly that can give you as much as you can give others independence yes it's looking that way right and rules independence and rules now i'm getting something clear from this as i said you might be attracting or attracted to people that have got wounding um, narcissists that are going to overcompensate um, and love bomb and all of that kind of thing. You need to have rules around yourself and perhaps about around independence here. Um, codependence can be a strong pull. It's like someone that will cling to you, someone that's wounded that will cling to you too. It can feel like the right thing to do, but it's not. You know, it can feel like the right person to be with, but it's not. It's not someone that can truly give to you. You've got to recognize when someone's trying to give too much as and when we're trying to give too much as a, an overcompensation thing but recognizing it in other people is what this is saying we've got a diamond you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift we've got a fly a period of ill health and depression so you might be taking things to heart at the moment we've got dogs getting together with friends we've got a table hard work ahead and we've got a dragon, beware of self-delusion. So think of a yes or no answer question, because I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for our answer. But this is just a bit of fun because it's a general reading, not a personal reading. If you want me to pull crystals out of my bag and cards out of my decks for specific questions that you've got, you can do one of two things. Either book yourself in for a one question reading, I'll pop a link for it in the description box below and also up there too. Or book yourself in for a full reading if you've got lots of questions, a few questions. If you want lots of detail about something that's going on in your life at the moment private reading get them out within 48 hours of you ordering them find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too so how best to deal with these energies today the tower nothing's fall apart and the six of pentacles for reciprocation so like i said don't be in that place fixing things set yourself free don't stay in the same place fixing things let it fall apart says the tower set yourself free so Think of a yes or no answer question now. Your answer is no. Don't do it. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like before you click off down there. Click that subscribe button if you're new. Leave a comment that I'll get you an entry into that prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month. I do one of these today's tarot every single day of the year. I go live three times a week in my psychic cafe show. Come along sometime. I'd love to see you in there and perhaps read for you. And I make three love picker card reads a week as well. You can find one of those right there right now. Watch that next if you want. I have the best day ever. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.